Hi, I'm Carl from Tuliano's Western. Last time we were here, we did the martini with the salt and pepper shrimp. Goes great with this uh, steak dish that we're going to do right now. And here, here's the ingredients for it. Basically, it's going to be a uh, black pepper encrusted medallion with some uh, gorgonzola cheese cream and uh, with some asparagus gyoza to accompany that. So first thing we're going to do, got some black pepper. I'm going to crush that up so we can season the steak. Okay, get it nice and crushed. Get some of that on. Black pepper, a little salt. So we can work that. Not too much. If you want a lot, you can put as much black pepper as you like. But the black pepper and the gorgonzola flavor, I thought, went well together. So we'll just do it that way. A little cracked black pepper there. And while this is uh, sitting over here, we'll start our little gyoza thing here. Firstly, what we need is some asparagus, some nice fresh asparagus. I'm going to chop the asparagus up. This will be our filling for the gyoza. Okay. Gyoza is uh, like a pot sticker, steamed. Using the wonton wrappers for our gyoza. We'll Getting back to this over here, we chop that up over there. Get a little butter. Get a pan on the stove. Butter over here. Get our pan. Get that lit up there. What we're gonna do is like a saute the asparagus with a little uh, gorgonzola cheese there, make like a stuffing for our gyoza filling which we'll be uh, using this wonton wrapper for. Okay, the butter's ready to go. Just quickly saute that. Asparagus cooks really fast. A little seasoning. And what I'll be doing now is adding some, uh, some gorgonzola cheese to this here. Basically, they're like a Gorgonzola and asparagus wonton. So you don't want the cheese melted, but you want them soft. So I'm just turning the fire off and we're gonna work the cheese into the into the asparagus here. You want the chunks because they will melt when uh, when we stuff the gyoza with that. Yeah, maybe we'll do a little more cheese there. Once again, if you notice the fire is off, I'm just trying to get the cheese soft. And then we'll come back this way. You see that the cheese is just getting soft, not quite melted, but just soft and oogie. We like oogie. Oogie's good when we're doing something like this. All right. Your regular wonton, you would just, uh, you know, there's many folds for the wonton. You can fold it in half. You can do the, the little crowns. For the gyoza, it's basically uh, a round thing. So what I am doing is cutting the edges off, just the corners. And we'll work a fold in here. So this... Just some gorgonzola and, and asparagus. Very simple, very simple. Just some seasoned gorgonzola and asparagus in here. Okay, we got that going. A little water around the edges here. Then when we put this together, This is your little gyoza, like, like, like I said, like a little pot sticker. The method we're going to use to cook this will be, uh, we'll, we'll first brown it, then we will
Then we'll steam it. I will add some water to that same skillet that we browned the gyoza in. All the while we're doing that, we'll be cooking the steaks. So everything's coming out all at the same time. So once you got it all prepped up, we can do this. Okay, so. All right, we got these all prepped up, ready to go. Our pretty go gyoza is there. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna like uh, start cooking these. As we cook the gyoza, we'll be cooking the, the, the steaks also. So we're moving over in this, this direction. Once again, a little seasoning, it's never hurt nothing, you know, all the time. Okay, what we do is, uh, this is a pan for the gyozas, this is a pan for the steaks. For the gyozas, we'll add the oil here. So we can sear our steaks there and then we'll do the gyozas here. We'll get the gyozas, like so. And like I said, once again, what you do is, you want the browning effect on it. So we're going to lay it in there. To so get a brown on the bottom there. And the steaks. Everything's, cook everything's cooking just about the same time right now, okay? You see the brown? You got them nice and brown over there. Can you get that? So you brown, brown the gills out on uh, uh, three corners. The steaks are cooking. And what we're going to add to this now, we turn the fire down. We're going to add some water to this. And now it's going to steam. So while that's going, maybe I'll move this over this way to the lower fire there. To the nice steaming effect. We'll soften up the uh, pasta shells, the wonton wrappers there. There's some meat browns here. Once again, we use these steel skillets because of the fast heat that we do versus uh, aluminum pans. Myself, personally, I prefer these uh, steel skillets versus the aluminum pans because the heat's like quick, and that's what we want to do. We want to cook it quickly. If I was doing some chicken, you know, aluminum pan wouldn't be bad. We could use the aluminum pan just to cook its floor over there where it holds the heat better, but uh, like I said, once again, we want to we want the fast heat with these. You know, once again, the ticket to cooking the steak is like cooking them on the grill over there. You want it to dance on the grill. You know, you don't want it to leave it down there too long. You want to sear all the sides over there and get it nicely done. Here we can start our plating. We've got two plates here. The gyozas look good. Oh, look at that. All right. Got two little medallions in each plate there. Now the same pan here. I want to have here some uh, some white wine. Deglazing this. The peppers are still in there. The peppers are still in there, and what we're going to add to that is the gorgonzola cheese. And then once again, the gorgonzola cheese, you add as much gorgonzola as you like. If you like it nice and uh, nice gorgonzola flavor, we're going to do that. Okay. We're melting the gorgonzola cheese. 
I'm going to add some cream to that now and let that reduce for a while. Nice, cheesy, creamy, peppery. Got a little bit of everything all going on right there. Once again, quick and easy. This is like it's very simple. Everything's done with one pan. When you get to that part over there, when you reach this stage of the sauce, you can see it's nicely reduced over here. What I like to do is put in a little butter over here just to finish this off. Just to rich everything up. All right. There we go, the butter's like uh, all melted in there. Get a nice, nice, rich, creamy sauce. We will not pay that over the steak. And get a little over the gyoza too. What I have here is a few uh, asparagus that we've, we've had blanching off back here. And here we have it, our black pepper crusted beef medallions with a gorgonzola cream and gorgonzola and asparagus gyozas.